tomorrow morning I am packing up a free camper van and a free tank of fuel. So it's time to wave goodbye to my adventure in Sydney unfortunately. Where now I am going to the airport to catch my flight to New Zealand. So I got the 615 fast ferry from Manly into Circular Quay, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes quicker than the normal ferry. I then I take the very short walk to Circular Quay train station where there I board the train and get the train to International Airport. From that train, that train should take me straight into the International Airport and where I'll be boarding my flight to New Zealand, which is at 8.45. in Christchurch in New Zealand so yeah so the hour flight from Sydney um, I was gonna go to sleep playing and watching a film but yeah we're here now in New Zealand but I'm planning to stay for about four weeks I had to book a flight at the airport because to get into New Zealand uh, we get a, a free signal visa from the UK where you have to have a flight boot so I had to book a flight for the 6th of February and that is taking me to Bangkok. So yeah, excited, really excited. And it's now on to the hotel, which is right by the airport. And I'll explain why in a little bit. So the reason why I'm staying by the airport is tomorrow morning, I am picking up a free camper van, a free tank of fuel and driving it from Christchurch for the one night. So I'm gonna pick it up tomorrow at 12 p.m. I'm returning to by 12, by 8 a.m. the following morning in Queenstown. This is something which I've, after a little bit of research, discovered is quite readily available, not just only in New Zealand, but in Australia, in America, and lots certain parts of the, certain parts of Europe as well. So it's called car relocation. To cut a long story short, how it works is someone drives and hires a camper van from one location and drops off another location and that company needs that camper van back at that location and instead of paying to be, for it to be put on a wagon they actually hire people for free and sometimes you can get five ten days for free to drive back to that location and as long as it's back by a certain date and nine times out of ten they don't charge it or they charge it only about five pounds five dollars a day let me give you an idea of where we're going today so I'm going from Christchurch all the way looking down to go to Queenstown which is down here this is the South Island of New Zealand and it's on the East Coast so Christchurch where that airport badge is I am going to be driving all along here all down here then going past Pleasant Point all the way up here to Farley and then down past Lake Tekapo and down through here all the way down here and then hopefully to be camping somewhere within an hour radiance radius of here so I think I can get rightly about here so guys I've just picked up the free camper van that I am transferring from Christchurch down to Queenstown the, the best thing about this is it's a free drive free tank of fuel down to Queenstown and I'm saving a night's accommodation as well as it's a free it's a free journey so let's see how I'm going I'm gonna sell some pizzas and yeah let's hit the road been driving now for about two hours and the only difficult thing is is that the indicators are on the other side but other than that it's been really easy to drive as I've never also driven a camper van before, it's been flat. So there hasn't been any mountains or nothing. It's just been flat. And I mean flat, like there's no banks, there's no hills, anything like that. But in the distance, I can see some mountains. And that is where we are going. And they look big. So I'm looking forward to having a little drive around them. So we uh, Keep driving. 
A little stop off on the way. Seems we're passing Lake Tekabo. And it's uh, something special. Take a breath away. Why don't I go swimming in the warm waters of Australia? Why don't I go in a freezing cold lake? Wow. Ow, ow, these stones are sharp. Ow, ow, ow. This place is incredible. The water is so clear. happens New Zealand you keep doing this to me I keep stopping and I know I'm gonna be late for Queenstown I'm not gonna get to the campsite but I've got to stop I have to stop when this is on offer There will be no more stops. I'm only three hours late to get to Queenstown, so it's not too much of a delay. So I haven't even got nowhere to stop yet, where I can pull up, because as I mentioned, it's quite difficult to free camp. I need to find somewhere free camp. I need some food, and I need to drive another 250 kilometers. But I promise I won't stop. Finally made it to the stop off point for the night just outside a place called Cromwell which is I think 50 minutes from Queenstown so not too far at all just where I was looking at really stopping and I've come to a freedom campsite where it is free for camper vans and motorhome vehicles as long as you are able or as long as you've got your own toilet on board which I've got some form of a toilet I'm not gonna be using it like so we oh hello so we are 
there, Cromwell, outside Lake Dunstan, which is that. And then tomorrow, we are going down into Queenstown to drop the car off by the airport, and then Queenstown's my destination for the next two to three days. And then I'm getting a car and going all the way back up to Christchurch to hire another car because it's cheaper from there and then doing the whole South Island. So yeah, I've got my beer. I've got my lake. And the best made up, which was pretty easy. So cheers guys. I'm gonna end the vlog there. It's how I actually found this freedom site. It was on using it, it was done by using an app called Campmate, which you download on your phone, and then you can search by what vehicle you've got, where you want to go, what you want to do, and it's really, really useful, and it's helped me to find this place, and it also gives you tips and advice what to do when you're here, and kind of rules and regulations and all that shibiz, things like that. So yeah, really good app, and I would recommend it to anyone looking at doing camping, um, or motorhoming, or campervaning in Australia and New Zealand, because it works in both countries.